Good morning, Silas. Good morning. Do you know what we're going to do today? <laughs> drive? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go drive. But we have another Piper Cub like the one in Texas. Look at that. Yummy. Right. I think we are here. Blue collar equipment sales. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna hop the fence and go look at that military truck. Alright. This is the same guy that helped us get the RV running and going and he's got a military truck over there. Okay, go check it out. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. High intensity noise hearing protection required. Yeah, it means it's freaking loud. <laughs> Put the Elvis jet on this thing. Make it like four-wheel drive monster truck. He's got monster trucks back here. <laughs> this is awesome. What the heck? Okay, I know this is hardcore redneck of me, but that tractor over there has me kind of excited. I never thought I would say that a tractor has me excited. Silas, do you know what that tractor is? A big tractor? No, do you know why it looks kind of funny and has a massive roll cage over it? Tractor racing. What do they do with tractors? Pull stuff. They pull stuff. It's a tractor pull tractor. Oh. The ones where you see where they're like, Whoa, boom, and the engine blows out of the side of it. <laughs> Man. Wow. Fancy, whatever that is. It's a hog. What are you talking about? Is that the, like the no. anchor? Right? No, it's Iron Horse. Is who makes it? Oh yeah. What is that? What's up? That must have been your car. I heard over there. Yep. I was wondering you pulled in. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was looking for you. Can you come inside? Yeah, I took it on trade for a tractor. Partial trade. <laughs> Old man. Oh yeah. I bought this a while back. So they had a bunch of these at that place in Texas, and okay, yeah. I had no idea what. So how does this work? It, it... Depending on what what model they are, they're worth a lot of money. Really? What are they? They're used for like pumps and stuff like that, right? Well, back in the day, they, this was the small engine. Yeah. This is 8 horsepower, but it's like all of the torque. Wow. A lot of torque. And where, so where does, where does the fuel go in? Right here on the bottom. This is the carburetor right here. Oh, come here. There's a choke. So this is the carburetor, this is the fuel line? Yep. Okay, and the gas tank is here? Yeah, that's the gas tank. And does it use regular gas or is it? Regular old fuel, yeah. Diesel or okay. What I'm going to do is we're going to give it a little huff of some starting fluid. That's how I start every day. And then you're going to hold your finger over that until I tell you to take it off. That's got some serious compression. Oh, yeah. Take off. So this rod is holding compression, when it goes back, it closes that and seals the cylinder up so it can create, create compression. And then it also clicks the magneto right here, like that, which will create the spark. Whenever the... Uh, the economy really goes in the toilet here in a year or two. It's the engine. These are, this, this is going to be where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. This was made when men were men and sheep were scared. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the Fed 
raised interest rates, the housing market is already starting to go woof. Even here in Florida, I'm starting to see a lot of price cuts, all that kind of thing. So this party is about to come to an end, even as much as it breaks my heart, the crazy prices on airplanes right now. So I know it's happening. And when things are gonna get crazy and we know they're gonna get crazy, listen, we've been through this stuff before, it's not new. You have to invest in those things that are going to make it through the storm. I invest in gold, silver, and the precious metals, specifically with legacy precious metals. They can help you invest in the actual physical stuff, gold as well. Uh, you can use your IRA and other retirement accounts. They can just, you can go buy it from them. They can send the physical gold to your door or they can invest with your retirement accounts. I had a million questions when it came to investing and those guys answered all of my silly questions. That's what they do best. They answer questions, especially when it's not the normal thing like investing in stocks and bonds and mutual funds and that kind of stuff. Give them a call, call the number on the screen right now. Ask them all the questions you want. It's free to talk to them. Give them a call, tell them Jimmy sent you Legacy Precious Metals. Thank you, and I am looking forward to the Save the 310 Silver Bullet Silver Coin. A little airstrip thing. Yep, private airstrip for a very private airplane. Uh, this is for uh, Mr. Spriggs. He's a customer of ours in the tractor world, and he has a Piper Cub airplane here, and I've been trying to buy it off him for years. He won't sell it. I've, we're back to doing YouTube videos. I'm like, Mr. Spriggs, will we come out and start it? He's like, come on with it. Ooh, that's cool. So here it is. Check that out. So we'll pull up here in the way a little bit. I told him, do not wipe the dust off of it. National Guard in the 60s. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. And the Army National Guard? Yeah. Yeah, I'm and, a uh, What's the story behind this thing? What what year? Tell me. I I got about. my private license in about nineteen early seventies mm -hmm. when I was in Orlando. A couple of clients of mine wanted to learn to fly and we bought a used uh, 140. Mm -hmm. Piper. Yep. And I got my license. One of the guys quit before he got his license, and the other guy got a license, and I don't know whatever happened to him. <laughs> uh, we had that, but we sold that. I always wanted to own a J3. There you go. And I found this one in the airport. I found that and bought it found out we had a there was a group of us from roughly central florida from naples to ocala six of us all had j3s and our first trip as a group we flew from here to gadsden alabama uh, we flown as far south as Marathon in mm -hmm. the Keys, all over Florida, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina. We flew to Kitty Hawk one time. Wow. So you have a lot of stops. Mm -hmm. One of our most common stops, if we're flying north, would be Plains, Georgia, Jimmy Carter's home. Really interesting. They have a long grass airstrip there, or they did. I haven't been there in years. Years ago, after I bought it, I originally kept it at the airport there on 52. Okay, yeah. Uh, There's a big hangar, a mechanic on the hangar, and I kept it in his big hangar with all his airplanes. Just... That's pretty neat. Well, I'll grab the wash bucket. I mean, that's probably the first thing I need to do is wash it, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then we can... Uh... Where, where do you want to put it? I just roll it right outside the door. All right, how's the top? Watch the chair over here. Go straight. Probably the first time I've been out of this building in 10 years. Nice, watch the tree branches over there. Clear? All right. Wow, look at that. 
gross weight without fuel is 700 and something pounds? Yeah, I believe it. Huh? Flight controls seem to move. All right. What about the tail? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think bath go through it real good. The material, the fabric on this thing looks really good. And it's been in the hangar. That's always good. This is a 1939 Piper J3 Cub. Originally 65 horsepower. This one's got the high horsepower version. Shorter prop, I think you said. And maybe the carburetor was tuned a little bit better. 75 horsepower on this one. There is no electric system on this. So you get to man up and just fling it and try not to chop your fingers off and the process. Um, pretty, pretty simple, really. That's not a whole lot going on. And it hasn't been started in roughly 10 years at least that we know of. Uh, and you know, I haven't checked. Oh, it feels good there. Uh, is this hydraulic brakes on this one? So, okay, they're hydraulic. Do you see the line down there? Oh, here's the brake lens right here. Oh yeah, still fairly flexible. Has bungee cords inside here. That's the suspension. It's literally just a couple of bungee cords. So that's simplicity at its finest. It's amazing. This is the quintessential of classic airplanes. It's a Piper J3 Cub with the lightning bolt. <laughs> Makes it go faster. There were over 20,000 J3 Cubs made in its history and about 90% of all World War II pilots got their start in this and then they stepped up to one of the, the small, bi small biplanes. This one is where most of them got their start. There's over 5,000 of these that are still actively flying today. Just insane. After almost 100 years. Here you go, look. He'll get it washed. Never stand in the way of a man wanting to do some work. That's what I say. That's actually got, that's decent. Oh yeah. All right, there's one. That one's a little oh, right on the light side. And then this one should be the good one. Yeah, so there's one really good one right here. Two that are low and then one that's kind of in the middle. All right. Yeah, let's pop these little RC car clips off of it. Oh, look at that. Pop the front off. Yeah, it's got to go forward. T bucket. Do you know what that is? Oh, yeah. Right. Your wife's phone number before I leave. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Hold on a second. This one um, has got the hoses connected on the inside of it. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to. Uh, Oh yeah, it's got the heater hoses on it. Where'd you put those clips? All right, let me grab a floor. Right Where'd you? There we go. It's got to be like like this. Yeah. Oh, here we are gonna have to take it off this front right here. You got an oil line right there. That's a breather too. We can take it loose right here on the crank. Get the. Nice. Watch your head. Your exhaust. Okay, I'm gonna take this outside. That's gonna be Yummy. Oh. 
Uai, ya. Your famous oil level check. Hold that. Is there oil? Yeah. A bunch of dead dinosaurs in there? Yeah, liquid dinosaurs. All right, that's good there. Plugs out of here. See, hopefully they come out nice and nice. And I looked at the part numbers on both of these magnetos, and I think they're both impulse coupling. They have the same part number on both of them. Yeah. See, here's what. If you look here, this is honestly what I was worried about. You can't really tell from there, but. Look at that. I got oil there. Yeah, that's good. A little bit of brake clean, and those are newish plugs, very low hour plugs. Okay. And what I'd be looking for is to take the piston all the way to bottom dead center because that's usually where there'll be a rust ring if there is any rust in it down at the bottom of the cylinder um, and these a continental you'll notice the push tubes right here for the uh, push rods the camshaft is in the bottom where there's a lot more oil that will be whereas a like homing the camshaft is on top of the engine so it stays a lot drier so the oil will drip off of everything onto the camshaft on a continental so right now, before you try to hand prop this thing, we're spinning it over, checking the cylinder, seeing if there's any noticeable okay. damage or any major rust issues. The oil is clean. It's not filled with a bunch of stuff. Um, but again, if I was going to fly this thing, yeah, I would, I would for sure probably pull some of these off to check the cam and some other stuff. But my side, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. I'm okay if I see them, but if I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, it's aluminum. <gasps> Fantastic. And it is bone stinking dry. And like you said, that's both good and bad. Yeah. So. It doesn't even smell, I guess. Dry as can be. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Jimmy's fired. Right. Fired. Fired right. guy. Where's that? Right there on top. This is what helps keep the paint shiny. Did you tighten the lid up? Yeah. Is there a... Uh, oh, there's mud daubers in it. You got a little drill bit? Or we can just... No, don't do that. Give me a little drill bit. Just something to get up there and get rid of that mud out of there. Here we go, fuel on. Nothing yet. Here, reach in under there and pull it all the way that way. Right there. Okay, it looks like it is. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the only travel I can see with it. Alright. Alright, so it's on. Oh, thank you. There you go, you got full travel out of it now. Yep, stop. Whoa, whoa. All right, stop, stop. Nice. Now you've hand propped an airplane before, yeah. right? That other one that you did was yeah, a hand prop, the, right? Uh, what was that, a... Uh... <sighs> Something yeah. old? All right. You need to clean that out. Something. Let me have this. That is so gross. Bruce? How many prop throws do you think it'll be? Well, the amount of fuel flow it's got, it should be. Is that big enough? Uh, yes, sir. I'm thinking eight. Eight. All right. Those are for the plug wires on the other side because they're not zip tied anymore. Thank you, sir. I'm going to go with three. Three? What are you going? Seven. Seven. Silas, what do you think? 
half. Four and a half. All right, Jim, it's your plane. How many throws of the prop do you think it's going to be before she fires up? Three. Three. Okay. What's the starting procedure, your technique that you use to start this up? Well, it depends on where I am. If, if I'm out there and I'm by myself, I tie it down. The tail wheel. Yeah. But if I'm out flying around, I, I straddle that wheel so mm -hmm. I can reach the mag okay. and the throttle, and I start it from behind. I'm going with Jim. I'm going with three on this. I don't know. And I'm going to give it the Jimmy two squirt shot of primer because it's been a while. And I know there is no fuel in that thing. And before I touch that prop, make sure these mags are off. Yeah, mags are off. Okay. Here, watch. Watch out. I'm going to just roll it. Ba boom There we go. Did you already, because I didn't touch these plugs, yep. you already tightened, All tightened up. up. Yep. And the leads? I know, I'm not going to ask you. Okay. You shouldn't ask this. You don't start here. No, 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 no. Although I'll you tell know, you, it won't be the first the house, time that we've started an airplane inside a hangar. I think we're ready to go. Where, we're going to take it out there. You got those little screw in tie down things somewhere you said? We're getting fancy with this stuff. All right. There's, there's more than one piece there. Okay. Yeah, Jimmy's World Level Safety Precautions. I don't know about that one. <laughs> what do you think? Tie the tie the tail off. Oh, you want to tie it into a knot? Yeah. Carl, you here. You you do this. You're the uh, king here of aviation, right? Let's see your tie down. You just freaking throw some granny knots in that sucker. Oh, I don't want to make it where we never come loose again. Oh, okay. So there, and then you can throw a square knot. Like so. That's not square knot. <laughs> Wait, is it? Here, show us a bowling and a hitch. I see if I remember how to do it. Okay. Well, that's not the right. But Silas, you need to get in Boy Scouts or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That looks like something. Is that something? I can't tell. You know who we need is somebody that was in the Navy. There he goes. There, that looks like Is that looks like something? Yeah, I think we're good there. That looks like something. Let's give her a good pull, see how we look. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And again, right? What could possibly go wrong? So we're good. I mean, if, if anything, fine. If it'll be fine. Loose, you better just start pulling back on the stick. Really well, it's going to be pointed that way. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Watch the golf cart over here, and now we can turn. Watch your wings. Yep. You guys are doing great. Thanks. Oh yeah, these are great airplanes. It that thing cleaned up nice. Boy, oh boy, this thing really does. This is a good looking airplane. The pilot, if they're single, like Bruce is probably going to be shortly. Whoa. Oh, that was that was wrong. I'm sorry, Bruce. I love you. So if you're by yourself piloting this, you sit in the oh, back seat on one of these. I don't know who did it. Fuel is on. Turn your mags on. Can I get a clear prop? <laughs> this is the one. All right, you live there still? Yeah, we're live. All right, clear prop. Ooh, that was two. Oh, yeah, you lost. all right, there's my three. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. You got to yell clear prop. Oh, come on, Nancy. Mags are on. Clear prop. You got to throw some hiney behind it. Clear prop. That's not picking up the uh, starting fluid, I don't think. Your go juice? One eternity later. Hey. 
There we go. Now back it up. Clear propage. Oh, I wanted to. Was this is this prop number 33? 37,000. Clear prop. No, pull back. There we go. Boy, there ain't, he's right. There's, there's no other sound like a J3. All right, you think it'll start again? Yeah. There yeah. Baby idle at 675 RPM. That's not good. Well. There it goes. All right. All right. So just so you know, you're gonna need some. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need some contact cleaner in that mag switch. All right. Ready. Okay. All right, stand by. Crack the throttle just a smidge. Ow, that's gonna need some lube. Ready? Yeah, clear prop. There you go. Bam! Bam. All right, now will it shut off like it's supposed to? Uh, I actually, after we start it, let's get some oil temperature in it to cycle that oil. Okay. So I'm gonna run it up to 1200 and leave it there for a minute. I really appreciate you letting us come out here well, today and hear this my, thing make noise. My pleasure. I, I, I told Bruce, I says, you know, I haven't heard that in years. I remember the, the day that Chief Anderson came out and all the cubs were lined up to be fueled. And he, we took his picture with the cubs and he literally broke down in tears because that's what he taught the Tuskegee Airmen in. It's a J3. That's right. I took Eleanor Roosevelt for a flight in the J3. I didn't know that. That's pretty special. That's neat. Yeah, he just died recently. I saw an article in the paper about it. I love hearing the stories, the hangar talk, and all the different adventures people go on with airplanes. And that is truly the magic about aviation is it makes the world so small to be able to have different adventures with your family, uh, other people that have those same enjoyments, to meet people of history, you know, great things were done with airplanes. So this is, this, this is pretty neat, this is special.